Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I did take August off, so it's been a minute, but I'm here and I've regrouped and I'm back with a sunscreen review. So I did a poll on Instagram and everyone was saying that they wanna see more like behind the scenes, day in the life type of vlogs, as well as more sunscreen product reviews. And I'm here to deliver. I absolutely love sunscreen products. I don't necessarily buy as many as I would like because it is just me and I have one face, but I have been using these two products that I'm about to talk about for over a year now. They are honestly my favorite finds at the drugstore as far as sunscreens go. I have a mineral sunscreen and a chemical sunscreen. That way, if you prefer one or the other, then I got you covered. But without further ado, let's dive right in. Just to preface, I do have dry sensitive skin and these sunscreens are sensitive skin approved. They have not broken me out. There also is no pilling. And honestly, if they did have pilling, I wouldn't be keeping them because I have a very low tolerance for skincare products that just don't work for me. So if I'm able to return them, I definitely do that. But I've had these, like I said, for over a year now and they're really amazing. So on the right side of my face, I'm going to be applying the mineral sunscreen. And then on the left side of my face, I'll be applying the chemical sunscreen. First up, we have the Bliss. This is the Blockstar Invisible Daily Sunscreen. It's SPF 30. And this is a 100% mineral-based sunscreen. It is non-comedogenic. The main ingredients are titanium dioxide, 4.1%, and zinc oxide, 11.5%. If you're not familiar with Bliss, they are sold at Ulta, Target. I buy my Bliss products at Target usually, and they are cruelty-free, they are plant-friendly, this is vegan, and they are also a clean beauty brand. But this retails for just under $20, and it is 40 milliliters or 1.4 fluid ounce. And I've had mine for quite a while, and I actually have like a full Reels first impression on my Instagram, which I'll link for you. But I've had mine for a while, and it doesn't expire till December of this year. But I'm going to do just one finger length because I'm only putting it on half of my face. And I'm going to use the viewfinder as like my mirror. It does have a very, very subtle lavender scent. So if you do not like lavender scents, you probably, you won't like this as much. I kind of have an aversion to lavender, but it's not like a scent that hangs around. So it definitely um, doesn't bother me. I really like it. It has like a very nice subtle tint to it. So honestly, on days where I don't want to wear like other base makeup, I just apply this and I feel like I look totally more put together. And it blends out super nicely. And because of the tint, there is no white cast, which is amazing for it being a mineral sunscreen. So I don't know if you can tell, but this side has the Bliss Block Star on it. And this side has no sunscreen. But I love it. It just blends so nicely. Like I said, there's no pilling. It just adds a beautiful kind of layer onto my skin. Evens out everything. It's one of my absolute favorite sunscreen products, honestly. It dries down to like a very nice, like natural finish as well. And then it also layers very nicely with my makeup, which I will put a little bit of makeup on my whole face once I'm done. But yeah, this is just one that I think not a lot of people talk about. They also have a, a travel size version if you're not sure if, you know, the scent or the shade is for you so you can pick the mini up first. But I have a feeling you're going to want to just go ahead and buy the full size. So this is definitely one that I absolutely love. It does come in a tube instead of a pump. And while I do prefer pump applicators, I don't mind the tube because it is easier to like divvy out the two finger lengths of sunscreen that you need for daily wear. If this came in a fragrance free option, it'd be 10 out of 10 hands down. Because there is that bit of a fragrance that I'm just not personally a fan of, I do give it 9 out of 10 stars. But it's one that once I run out, I will definitely repurchase because of the tint factor. It's so nice. It's that product that you put on, maybe put on little brows, a little bit of lip, and then you're good to go because you just want to look a little bit better than you normally do, but you don't want to fuss with any makeup products or anything. This is your great skincare product, one and done. Now, because I do have dry skin, I do prefer to like still do my normal skincare routine underneath it. So lately that means like putting on a face oil. So I did apply a little bit of my face oil underneath. I didn't do a moisturizer because these are pretty moisturizing on their own. I love it so much. So here's the chemical sunscreen that I think is brilliant. I do give it one star off, so it is still a 9 out of 10, and I'll explain why. 
But this is the CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion with Sunscreen. It's for normal to oily skin with broad spectrum SPF 30. And this moisturizes and helps restore the protective skin barrier because it has three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid and it has a matte finish. So this is a chemical sunscreen. And so the main ingredients are avobenzo 3%, homosalate 10%, octosalate 5% and octocrylene 2.5% and it is also recommended for daily use by the Skin Cancer Foundation. To be honest I don't know much about that foundation so I don't know like how much that seal of approval has weight to it but CeraVe is a really great drugstore brand. It's like an OG brand you know. Anyways let's do the pump application. Applicating. That's roughly it and because this is a chemical sunscreen there is no white cast. So the reason that I give it a 9 out of 10 instead of a 10 out of 10 is because even though I have dry skin, as my skin and like sweat wears down throughout the day, if I apply this to my eyelids, a little bit will get into my eye at some point and it will sting a little bit. So that's why I give it a 9 out of 10 instead of a 10 out of 10. But whereas like the other one, like mineral sunscreens, you know, I can apply that on my eyelids and I still like to protect my eyelids a little bit. But I just like kind of keep in mind that like I don't want to put too much on because it will eventually run throughout the day. And even though it says it's a matte finish, I kind of think it leaves more of a natural finish once it dries down. And it just kind of gives me like a subtle, very, very subtle glow. It also could just be my face oil underneath this, but this is the side of my face with the chemical CeraVe sunscreen. And then this is the side with the mineral Block Star sunscreen by Bliss. But like I said, you honestly can't go wrong with either. So the CeraVe one, you get 1.7 fluid ounces, which is very standard. And this is also around like $18. But honestly, I always see it on sale at Target and that's where I buy mine. This one is a bit harder to find in store. So I typically order it online and I think I pay like 12 bucks for this one. And then it was free shipping because I'm a Target red card holder. So it's definitely very affordable if you can get your hands on it. Like I said, order it online and you shouldn't have any problem. Both of these are outstanding. I've been using them all the time interchangeably. The CeraVe one is definitely one that I would repurchase. There are just so many sunscreens out there, honestly, that I want to try. And the main point of my channel is to try different products out. So even if I don't necessarily go out and repurchase a product the second I'm, I use it all up, but that doesn't mean I don't love it any less. I can still recommend a product but not necessarily repurchase it right away just because I do have a backlog of products, especially sunscreen products that I want to review. It's actually kind of later in the day and I'm not going to put a ton of makeup on but I do just want to let you see how nicely makeup does wear on top of both of them. So because the Block Star already has some color, I'm just going to put some color on the left side of my face. And I'm just using a little bit of the Rose Ink Serum. But the great thing is about the chemical sunscreen is there's no pilling. And there's no pilling with the Block Star either. But if I'm wearing the Block Star, I tend to not put a base product on because I just don't need that extra coverage most of the time. But that is the finished look. So, just as a very quick recap, on the right side of my face, we have the Bliss Block Star SPF 30, 100% mineral SPF. Target is your best friend to get this at and under 20 bucks. They also have a mini size version so I'll link both below and yeah absolute favorite has a tint no white cast love it so freaking much. So on the left side of my face we have the CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion with sunscreen also SPF 30. This is the chemical sunscreen. Oh I forgot to mention on days that I just apply this one sometimes I don't even use like a moisturizer or even a face oil because it's pretty moisturizing on its own. This one I still will like use a moisturizer but you don't necessarily have to because it's such a nice creamy consistency. Yeah like I said um these layer so well under makeup as you can see there's absolutely no pilling. There's no white cast with either of these sunscreens. They are truly my favorite sunscreens. Ones that I would totally repurchase. I honestly I just can't rave about these enough. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed watching my review of my two favorite drugstore sunscreens. So if you found this review helpful and you feel like sharing it with your friends and family, please do. Every share, like, comment, subscribe really does help my channel and it helps me see what everyone else wants to watch as well. So please also drop any product review recommendations down in the comments. I love adding to my list of reviews. I do have another sunscreen review coming up, which is actually a request. So very excited to film that. And yeah, just let me know what else you wanna see on my channel. And again, thank you so much for watching and I will see everyone in my next video.
Bye, everyone.